Hey everybody, Paul Hummeler here at Dream Guitars, and this is a guitar that I worked with Mark Blanchard to create. Uh, he did all the hard work, but I gave him my, uh, my wishes, my wish list, if you will. Um, that's a really fun part of my job. We do a lot of custom building here where I get to work with the builder and give them my thoughts on what, what specifications I want so that then we can offer it to you and hopefully some of you uh, like the same things I might. So this one's got a little bit of everything that I like. Uh, first of all, it's a little bit larger body. It's Mark's Blanchard Sequoia model. So it's 16 inches across the lower bout, which makes it super versatile. You can cover a lot of different genres of music with this guitar. It strums really well. And of course you can finger pick it. Um, you've got a cutaway, of course. You've got some crooked frets here, um, so it's a multi-scale guitar, a fan fret guitar, you know, choose your your wording there, but basically you got two scales. So you have 25 and a quarter on the top, 26 and a quarter on the bass. So my personal guitars that I play, a lot of them are 26 and a quarter on the bass. I've just found that works really well for C tunings and dadgad tunings and can go all the way up to standard with no problem. So today I've got this guitar, I'm gonna play it in C tuning with light gauge strings on it. So you're gonna hear um, you know, how flexible the scale lengths are. You can do a lot with them. Um, a lot of people ask me if fan frets, you know, if you feel anything different. The truth is you really don't because it's kind of minimal. And also if you just play your air guitar, like a chromatic scale, you see how your fingers spread and then come back. That, so to me, it feels very natural the way the fan frets lay out underneath the fingers. So there's that. Um, all right, um, and the intonation, of course, is better with fan fret as well. So this has got a European spruce top on it. It's a 20 year old top uh, Mark chose for this one. It's got a beautiful, um, I think it's Brazilian rosewood head plate. And we've got Godo tuners on a mahogany neck. And then this is some Brazilian rosewood from my personal stash. So I sent this to Mark to create this guitar with. So this is some very old wood. I, over the years, I've had a chance to collect some wood. A um, couple other cool features about this guitar. It's a little bit larger body, but we did the manger wedge on it. So you can't see it here because of our setup. But look at the photos. and You'll see it tapers as it comes up under the arm. So it's thinner here and thicker down here. Really comfortable to put your arm over. And then, of course, we've got the armrest bevel as well. So that also adds to the comfort factor. And then it's also got a small sound port here on the upper bout, which gives you a bit more in your ear so you get to enjoy the guitar as much as your audience does. So it's got a lot going on. This is a really great guitar. Again, I helped um, spec it out. So when I do that, I really think about what I think makes a great guitar. And this one is perfect for somebody who wants to play multiple tunings, wants to play finger style, and wants a little bit of, a, of everything good in a guitar. So um, let's... Listen to it. I'm going to play it in a, a, a low C tuning today. It's actually a C9 tuning. You can already hear how beautiful it sounds without any fingers, Mom. All right, let's have some fun. This is the Mark Blanchard Sequoia, brand new, made for us here at Dream Guitars. Mm -hmm. 